Whenever I see a container, I see potential. This is a good time to remind people to please recycle, reduce, reuse, and in this case, repurpose. As you can see, this container says, reusable, okay, I will. I'm certain that they didn't think that I was gonna reuse it in this way. I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. You can use a paper clip or spare wire, um, pop tabs, also some uh, scrap metal. Again, you can get it from a tin can, or in this case, a little duct, and of course my four by two millimeter magnets, which I just love, which are very cheap. Again, you can get 50 for a dollar. Just cut out the size of door you want, and I use one of the uh, pieces of wire, just bend it into my hinge. Then you fold it over the hinge and make sure you don't press it down too, too hard. In the end, I do use a pair of pliers to cinch it down, but if it's too tight, you just open it up a little bit more and that should keep the uh, door on the hinge. Just make sure it can uh, swing freely. I made a bit of a mistake and I uh, made the door a little too small so I had to uh, add a little couple extra extensions. Uh, drilled some holes for the hinge and for the magnets on the bottom. And uh, I, this is a little trick I do as I tape up the hole, put the magnet in place, and uh, I use Gorilla glue, glue in this place. In this case, you could use hot glue, but the Gorilla Glue is a little stronger and holds the magnets a lot better. Again, the magnets are Gorilla glued in, and the hinge and the door are, I just use hot glue. They don't need to be quite as strong. In this case, I used two uh, magnets. You could use three or four. It just depends on how strong you want the door to hold and what kind of prey you're catching. This was a little idea I had for a trigger for the door. Um, it ended up being a little too complicated. It was a little too sensitive. Uh, so in the end, I scrapped it. It worked, but uh, it wasn't exactly what I wanted. In the end, I decided to make a simpler trigger system using just a piece of stick from outside. And just all you gotta do is cut a little notch in it. I used a uh, pop tab to hold uh, my bait, which is usually a black um, sunflower seed, and attach it to a wire and then uh, hot glue it onto the stick. Well, that was a much simpler trigger system and it seems to work really well. So this mouse decides to go in and out and in and out again, uh, collecting some seeds that are in there and then uh, taking it, I'm guessing, to its uh, nest. And there you go, it's pretty much stuck now. Um, this trap has been very effective. I find that the traps where the, the uh, mouse can go right through uh, unobstructed, uh, these traps seem to do a whole lot better. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next mouse video. I just wanna address uh, something that I get in the comments quite frequently and that's that the mice will chew their, through the chew their way through the plastic and quite frankly that just simply does not happen. Uh, I try to get them before I go to bed but if I don't, they'll be in that trap for four, six, sometimes even eight hours. I do leave a lot of food in there for them to uh, survive and uh, but they don't, they cannot chew through them and I don't know what else to, how else I can prove it um, but it just does not happen. Anyway, um, if you are skeptical of this, I don't know, make one of these traps, one of the many traps that I've made, and uh, you'll find out for yourself. Anyway, thanks for watching again, and I'll see you in the next uh, mousetrap video.